What's going on, movie goers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Sea World Productions. Boy, oh boy, this is very interesting because now we have some conflicting reports. Now, if you guys remember watching the red carpet premiere, you remember Kevin Feige was asked, could we possibly see a Namor spinoff film or project? And he said, well, it determines on how well Wakanda Forever does. But as of yesterday, you guys, Nate Moore one of the Marvel Studios producers came out and confirmed they quote unquote borrowed no more from Universal. So Universal owns the rights to no more and the Incredible Hulk. So it's the same situation how Marvel Studios can't do a solo Hulk film. They can only have him appear in projects. This is kind of crazy to me, and it's really unfortunate. Because I feel like with Namor, you can definitely do a solid Disney Plus series or even a film. He's definitely become a fan favorite in the MCU. One of the best character introductions, one of the best anti-heroes. I just absolutely loved Namor. Tenoch Cuerta absolutely killed it in that whole world of Talokan. It was amazing. But this is weird. I was like, what? This makes no kind of sense. I was like, I thought that Universal only owned the rights to Hulk. Now this really makes me wonder just how many more characters Universal actually owns that we don't know of that Marvel hasn't introduced yet. Now, we all know Marvel Studios and Sony have their deal, right? They have their deal. They both, you know, collaborate. They make these Spider-Man films. They both get a cut at the box office, blah, blah, blah. Marvel funds it. You know, you know how it goes, right? So maybe we could possibly see something like that in terms of Namor or even the Incredible Hulk. But rumor has it, this is what's been talked on Twitter and the internet, that there is a possibility by two years, the rights will revert back to Marvel Studios. Now, I think that's because Universal hasn't put out a Hulk film since the Incredible Hulk. And the rights would revert back to Marvel Studios by what, 2025? Which would be very interesting to me because I doubt Universal would want to put out an Incredible Hulk film out of nowhere and not have Marvel Studios attached to it. This is just, it, it's, it's crazy to me. I feel like Universal is so petty. Like why not just make a deal or why not just sell the IPs? Why not just, you know, sell it to Marvel Studios and let Marvel Studios do what they like with these characters? Especially if you're not doing anything, you know, they're not doing anything essentially with these characters. They're just sitting there. So, you know, like I said, Marvel's like, you know, we'll do something with them. Marvel Studios is like, we'll, we'll create, you know, these films. We'll have them, you know, in these side projects. We'll, 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 we'll actually utilize these beloved Marvel characters. This is just, I, I, I couldn't believe when I found out. I was like, what? Universal actually owns the rights to Namor? And we can't get any solo projects? I was like, that is a huge bummer and a missed opportunity because I feel like you can really shine with the Namor project. I mean, like I said, he's become a fan favorite very fast. Very fast. And I feel like, you know, with Tenoch Cuerta and that whole world of Talokan, you can explore so much and do so many different things. You can even do, you know, a, an introduction of like having Dr. Doom and Namor or even having, you know, Namor and, you know, Susan Storm, since there is that particular love story in the comic books that everybody wants to see, right? Everybody, well, everybody wants to see Tenoch Cuerta's Namor with, you know, Susan Storm or see that flirtation of those two characters. But we all know the Fantastic Four is headed our way sooner than later. Um, We'll probably get some kind of casting announcement sometime next year. But I'm look, I'm still excited to see this character show up and appear in different projects if Marvel Studios can't touch any of these particular rights to do solo films or solo projects for two years. I mean, like I said, they we, we've done it with the Hulk. The Hulk has been in, you know, the, all the Avengers films, the Age of Ultron, Thor Ragnarok. You know, he was in She-Hulk, um, which is interesting to me because I was like, so they own the rights to Hulk, but not She-Hulk. I was like, okay, well, you know, because She-Hulk was a solo project on Disney+, Plus, which Marvel Studios produced. Universal had nothing to do with that, um, but I'm pretty sure they got it, you know, cut of the pie like they always do. <laughs> but this is very interesting. I mean, look, this is, this is, this is nothing we haven't seen before. I mean, all these, these, these particular deals that Marvel Studios makes with, you know, 
these different companies or studios who have, you know, the rights to certain characters that they want to use. Like, for instance, in Deadpool 2, Negasonic Teenage Warhead was at the first one. I think it was the first one. Well, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, right? James Gunn had wrote the script and had Eagle the Living Planet in it. But they didn't know that Eagle the Living Planet was owned by 20th Century Studios. So they cut a deal. They're like, okay, well, we'll swap characters. Can we use Eagle the Living Planet and we'll give you guys Negasonic Teenage Warhead? So like I said, this this is known before that when Marvel Studios makes these kind of deals. And, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, this potentially won't ever happen because, like I said, with Sony and Spider-Man, it worked out for both parties. It really does. Now, this really leaves me wondering to all the speculation of, you know, Sakaar and, you know, what plans they have for, like, Hulk's son and how that's going to work out. Because, like I said, if it's just solely Hulk, if Universal just only, only owns solely Hulk and... They don't own Sakaar and all these other characters that come with, the, you know, the Incredible Hulk. Then they could do something like that. But, like, us potentially seeing a World War Hulk, but then flipping the script of actually having it be Sakaar and Sakaar attacking Earth, that could work. Because, essentially, you know, Scar would be the main character of that project or of that film, which Universal don't own. But this is very interesting, you guys. Damn you, Universal. Just let it go already. Let it go. Give it to Marvel Studios. Let Marvel Studios rock it. Let Marvel Studios do its thing. And, you know, we can all move on and be happy. <laughs> like 20th Century Studios, you know, when Disney bought them, everybody was super ecstatic. Everybody was super hyped. You know, that, 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 that you know, the, the, those particular set of characters, the X-Men and all that, the Fantastic Four were finally coming home to Marvel Studios. And a lot of people are looking forward to those projects and seeing how Marvel Studios handles their iteration of the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom. I'm excited for that because I know Marvel Studios is definitely going to nail it. Like I tweeted out, Ryan Coogler should be the only one in consideration to handle Doctor Doom. Look what he did with Killmonger and Namor. Doctor Doom is a pivotal villain, anti, you know, no, he's not anti here. He's a villain. And I feel like, you know, Ryan Coogler can definitely deliver us a epic, epic story arc of Dr. Doom. I'm telling you guys, you got to give it to Ryan Coogler. You, you, you just got to. He's, he's two for two right now. He's probably one of the best Marvel directors. Uh, and yeah, just give it to Ryan Coogler. But push your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Universal owning the rights, not only to the Incredible Hulk, but to no more as well. Thoughts and opinions, you guys. What do you think about this? Was this definitely out of the ballpark? Like, did you guys expect this at all? I know I didn't. I just found it to be very weird. But push your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Peace.